Are you a brother that is in a place where you feel like you just kind of lost? And you know, you don't want to say it out loud, and typically we don't say it out loud. We don't say out loud, you know I'm lost, right? We don't do that. We try to hold it in, we try to figure it out. Because at the end of the day, there's several things that we will never, ever want to be associated with. Being incompetent, uh, being a failure, um, being irrelevant, okay? So we would much rather suffer it out on our own than to open up and say, I don't know, I don't have it, or I ain't it, you know? But I want to say something, and it's gonna sound a little weird, but, but rock with me. In the movie Ray, his mother said these words. She said, scratch a lie, find a thief. My mama said it like this. She said, if you lie, you'll steal. And if you're still, you'll kill. Oh, honey. She always said, honey. Oh, honey, I don't want to be around no murderer. <laughs> That's what she said, you know? <laughs> I don't want to be around no murderer. Well, not so much that, that if you find a liar, you will find a thief. Okay, that may be true, but that's not where I am with this. I'm saying that if you find a lie or find the lie that's got you thinking the way you're thinking, then you're going to find the thief that has been stealing from you your passions, your dreams, your aspirations, your hope, all right? Find the lie, you'll find the thief. Give you a story. I remember uh, my favorite cousins were in Rockingham, North Carolina. And... Uh, my, my older brother is the mo more gregarious of us. He's happy, go lucky, he can dance, got all the girls. You know, he's a bad boy. But anyway, be before high school, so we was in grade school, um, you know, maybe, what, what is it, elementary school. And then my brother had to go to Virginia to my other relative's house. And so myself, my other brother, my, my family, we went to Rockingham, North Carolina, and we, we were with our favorite cousins. So I, I got out of the car when we got to Rockingham, got out of the car, ran to the front door, out of breath. Hey, hey, said, hey, Keith, what up, Keith? Hey, what are you dapping me up? Keith, what up, Keith? And they, you know, I said, yeah, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. They still looking at the door. They said, well, Ray. I said, hey, he, he, he in Norfolk, because, you know, he, he went with, you know, Auntie and them. And then they looked at me, and they said these words. And, and it stuck with me for all my life. It said, they said, well, why you come? Now, as an adult, I know that they were kids. They liked my brother. I liked him. He was fun. But as a kid, it said to me that I was not enough. It said to me that you have to be somebody else to be liked. It said to me a statement that I thought was the truth, but in fact, it was a lie. And that lie was, no matter how good you are, how smart you are, and I was very smart, I, I was honors in school. No matter how good you are, how smart you are, if, 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 People don't like you, then you're not good enough. And I grew up all my life being an overachiever. I grew up studying harder, working harder, and everybody else. But even when I had success, I always thought, low key, that I wasn't enough, you know? Until eventually I had to do the work, and, you know, here I am today, still working. But I'm much better than what I was. I'm saying that there are a lot of people who are still operating under a lie. Many lies that have been told. Many lies have been told. All right? Does, does, this, sound, does this sound like anything to any of y'all? All right? People that ask for help, them jokers are soft. Hmm? That's a lie. Here's another one. A man with no money 
doesn't deserve a quality woman. I was dealing with one of my uh, bros uh, in, in uh, Man Up Certified. And one of the challenges that he had was when he lost his job, he, he lost it. He could get another job. He was just in that, in that middle space. But once he lost his job and he couldn't provide for the house like he used to provide for the house, I mean, he, he lost it. Acting insecure, one of the most confident men I knew. Acting insecure, talking crazy, jealous, kept thinking his wife was doing something. And so eventually when we all sat down and talked, the bottom line came down to this. He believed a lie that was implanted in him from a very young age. Somebody told him that a man that don't have money doesn't deserve a quality woman. So when he lost his money, he started thinking, I'm going to lose her because, because she's a quality woman. I'm a loser. She's going to realize that I don't deserve her and she's going to bounce. Scratch a lie. Find a thief. All right? How about this one? You ain't good enough. You ain't attractive enough. You don't have what it takes. Uh, or, 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 or people say this. People say this. Hey, just wait. Just hold on. Hold on. He'll, he'll find a way to mess it up. Don't, don't, even, don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, don't even, don't even trip, dog. Don't even trip. He's going to find a way to mess it up. A lot of things that have been said to us have been stone cold lies and we have believed them as truth. And it's, well, hold on, it's not just the lies that other people tell us. Sometimes it's a lie that just walked up on us and we filled in the blanks. Our minds filled in the blanks. That's what our minds do. Our minds don't like spaces. So what it will do, it will fill in the spaces with story. Not facts, story. Sometimes we believe stuff that ain't necessarily true, but because we have made an agreement with it. An agreement is a, 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 a contract that you make with your heart and your mind about the validity of something. An agreement is, I believe men that look like me don't have that kind of success. That's an agreement. It ain't factual. It's an agreement that you make. I believe that if a man don't have a bunch of money, he's not going to have a quality woman. That's an agreement that you make with your heart and your mind, and it becomes ironclad in your being and in your soul. And it really takes true commitment, a relationship with God, solid community to help you break that agreement. Because, because when you have an agreement like that, it will cause you to self-sabotage in every area of your life if you don't watch it. So you got to break that agreement. You got to, th those are the kind of agreements that you 100% have to seek God about breaking. I, I, I bring that up because it makes me wonder what would make a man that is beloved all over the world by, I guess, the curator of fun, Ellen DeGeneres. Beloved, beautiful family, beautiful kids. Um, People all over the world love this dude, DJ Twitch. What would make him say, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate the help. Appreciate y'all saying, you know, hey, man, if you need something, let me know. I appreciate that. But uh, now I'm good. Now I'm good. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm just I'm figure it out on my own. What would... And I, and I don't, I don't per perceive to know what caused that, you know, for a person to take their life. But when you have so many people around you willing to help, willing to listen, willing to, in many cases, take a bullet for you, what would make you say, yeah, but I don't really, I don't really, I don't think that's the best option. A lie. A lie. And you can believe a lie so strongly 
that people around you are telling you stuff that's factually true. But you are uh harm -huh, to death. Uh, yeah, 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 sure, sure, right, right, yeah, exactly. Man, for real though, bro, yup, exactly. But you don't believe it. You don't believe it. Sometimes we get so entrenched in our own story and our own stuff and habits or whatever, and I don't know his situation, but people will come and they'll help you. You get on the right track. Appreciate it. Thank you. I ain't going to do it again. But then you do it again. And it's almost like you don't want to go back to them and tell them it didn't stick. It didn't work. I, I, I need some more help. And if you have the belief that people that need help are somehow inferior, they're bums, people that don't have discipline enough to, to, to stop smoking, stop drinking, stop stepping out, stop, I don't know, um, online, you know, uh, uh, porn sites. Yeah, I know I, I, know I stood up told everybody, yeah, I, I'm good. I ain't doing it no more, but I did it again. I am, not I did something wrong. I am wrong. I am worthless. I, I, I actually probably will, will deal with this all my life. I never want to be found out. I don't want to be found out. And I'm not talking about Twitch at this point. That would be disrespectful. I'm not, I'm not in that space, especially I don't know. But I'm talking to those of you who are saying to yourself, and man, I, I've been there, done that. I'm just going to embrace that this is just the way it is. And I want to say to you directly in your face, dog, that that's a lie. What you're believing is a lie. And you don't know it because you are not in an environment that makes that stuff look crazy, that ideology look crazy, that mindset look crazy. Man, you gotta be kidding me. The level of success that we have in this circle, hey bro, we all have been there before and we all have came out of it because we all stuck together. You talking like a lone wolf, Sure, you're going to die with it. Sure, you're going to keep on making that same mistake. Sure, you're going to keep on messing up if you decide to keep being a lone wolf. When we were lone wolves, we had external success, internal failure. But oh, it was became, when we became a part of the pack is when we started winning. You can believe the lie, as long as you're not around people that has dispelled it. And I'm saying to you that whatever it is, wherever you are and whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're dealing with, I'm here to tell you there's somebody else that has struggled either just like you or maybe a little less than you, maybe a little more than you. And they're winning because they chose to step out of the community that they were in, the faces and the spaces and the places that they were in, and move to the places, the faces, and the spaces where there was growth. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying to you that you can grow beyond and past whatever you think is holding you in a place that you will never see the light of day in the way you want to see it. You can't see past the idea of being in a marriage, but you just know I'm going to cheat for the rest of my life. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to take care of her. You know, I'm going to take my care of my kids. But, bro, I'm going to cheat. That's, I'm just, I mean, that ain't, I don't really see no other way around that. 
It's because you ain't been around enough people that have dispelled the lie. Here's what the, here's what the Bible says. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. If there is any level of bondage in your life, scratch a lie, find a thief. Scratch the lie, find the thief. If there's any level of bondage in your life, it's because there's a lie there somewhere. And I'm saying freedom comes from finding the lie. You want to be free? You want to be debt free? You want to be mentally free? You want to be spiritually free? You want to be happy, man? Bro, do you want to be happy? Find the lie. I'd love to help you find it. Man Up Certified is coming January 23rd, January 2023. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> well, I can't wait. More information is coming about that. But as it stands now, as I close this video out, you can be everything that God designed you to be. You can be happy. You can be successful. You can be powerful. You can be wealthy. You could be, you could be wealthy, bro. But we don't, we don't chase money. We chase becoming the best version of ourselves. We don't chase money. We attract it. And that's the difference. Oh, this is going to be good. I love you, family. I appreciate you. And if there's anything that you're going through and it's really difficult for you to wrap your mind around how to navigate through it, hey, man, send me a DM, send me an inbox. Reach out to me. I would love very much to walk with you because together we're going to make some powerful things happen. We're going to tell ourselves the truth. We're going to tell each other the truth. We're going to have accountability to each other. And we're going to win together. We're going to cry together. We're going to fight together. We might fight each other, <laughs> you know? But we're going to do it together and we're going to win. At the end of the day, there is a prize at the end of this race and it's got your name on it. Ain't got nobody else's. Can't nobody take your prize. Only you. But you gotta get there. All right? Love your family. 